Hi, my name's Natalie Boxall. I'm a specialist midwife for infant feeding at Sherwood Forest Hospitals and I'm here today to talk to you about positioning and attachment. We're going to use the CHINS acronym today, which is close, head free, in line, nose to nipple and sustainable. Now these steps aren't prescriptive, they're meant to be used in whatever order you need them to be and however works for you and your baby, but they're here to enable your baby to latch effectively onto your breast and for the feed to be comfortable. So there are lots of different ways you can hold your baby. You can hold them across your body, underarm, you can have them lying in a laid back position, and when you're in bed, you can have them in a sideline position. Now obviously, any way that you feed your baby needs to be safe, and it needs to be in a safe space, and you need to be awake. So the best thing to do would be to look at the Lullaby Trust website for guidance on how to feed at night safely. What we're going to do today is hold in cross cradle position and I'm going to show you the steps using this position today. So using the CHINS acronym, the first part is C for close. You need to have your baby nice and close. If I move on the side you can see. If you have your baby quite far away like that then obviously they're not going to be able to reach the breast in order to latch effectively and it won't be comfortable for them. What is best is to have your baby nice and close, snuggled into you, and you can use your arm to go around like that, supporting the back of their shoulders and their neck. And things that make them feel really secure is if you tuck their bottom in and their feet. So using your elbow, tuck in like that so they're not dangling, because if babies feel secure, then they're happier. Close is easier to use than any catchy phrases because it relies on the angle of the dangle of your breast and the direction that the baby is facing towards the nipple and it's different for everybody. So phrases like tummy to mummy don't work for everybody which is why we use close instead. So the next part of this which is really important is to keep your baby's head free. It's your instinct to try and protect your baby's head and people often hold their babies like this. However if you hold your baby like this their instinct is to push back and, want, and get irritable so they might slip off the breast. But also, in order to, for them to be able to latch, they need to be able to tilt their head back. So if you support them by their neck and their shoulders, they're free to do this. The other step is I, in line. Baby needs to be in a nice straight line. The reason is so that it's comfortable for them to drink when they're on the breast. If you think about it, if I was having a drink now and turned like this, it'd be really uncomfortable when I'm swallowing and it's the same for babies. One of the last stages is N, nose to nipple. It's really important that your baby approaches the breast with their nose towards the nipple in order to get a latch which is deep and effective and non-painful for you. If your baby approaches the breast with their mouth to the nipple, what will happen is that their mouth will just go onto the nipple and the areola which will be painful for you and will also mean that the baby will not be able to draw the milk effectively. So instead, as you've got your baby close with their head free in line, the baby will get the nose to the nipple. This will elicit a rooting reflex for them and they will tilt their head back, lead with the chin, pivot off that and do a nice wide mouth as they latch on. This should be comfortable after around 10 seconds. If it's not comfortable, use your little finger, break the seal in your baby's mouth and take them off and start again. But try to aim nose to nipple. The reason we need baby to go on nose to nipple is to get a deep asymmetric latch. What this means in practice is the baby gets a nice big mouthful of breast instead of getting just a small mouthful on the end of your nipple which is painful. What you're aiming for is to get this part of your nipple to the rear of the baby's mouth where the soft palate is. It means the nipple's protected when the baby is feeding. And then the last part of the CHINS acronym is sustainable. It needs to be comfy for you and baby. If you followed these steps and baby's comfy, then you just need to make sure you're comfortable before settling into a feed. So make sure you're nice and cosy on the sofa, you've got your phone nearby, you've got the remote control, and most importantly, you've got lots to drink because you get really thirsty when you're breastfeeding.